For those of you who don't know, my name is Ryan Turner, and I'm the director of the I'm Not Gay music video. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm so excited that the video has been shared around as much as it has, and it continues to be shared, and it continues to grow in views. When you make something, you always kind of hope, like, oh, I hope it gets big. I hope people watch it. But this one, actually, people did. Funny enough, Jesse's actually gotten requests to perform this live, and he performed it at Mickey's in West Hollywood, which was quite the performance. I'm so gay. I'm fucking gay. I'm the dude wearing nail polish gel in hair. So I decided because of the success, gave everyone that loved the video a kind of behind the scenes look and maybe show some things that didn't make the cut. So the way this video came about, so Jesse and I actually met doing extra work and instantly we clicked and instantly we realized we both wanted to work together. So down the line, he sent me this comedy song that he wrote called I'm Not Gay and I loved it, but we didn't have the means to make it at that point. Flash forward into the future, Jesse was acting in a short film directed by Brandon Blinn and Jesse shows him the song and Brandon loves it and his company decides to produce it. And then we have a video. So it was a two day shoot and what was really cool is I was able to work with the same crew more or less that I worked with on the last music video I did with you now. There was a bunch of different locations. We had the football scene at a park off of Magnolia and funny enough about that it actually started raining mid scene. It was quite cold and unpleasant for the guys that had to go shirtless. We had all the interiors of Jesse's apartment, had the shower, we had the parking garage, we had the alleyway, we had the hardware store, we had West Hollywood which is actually outside Jesse's apartment. It was just a really fun set to be on. Now one thing I've been doing recently is I test shoot and through the test shoot we're able to see what plays, what doesn't play, and where we can add more comedy. So when it comes down to the final video, we really tried to pack it full of every comedic gag we could possibly imagine. Some of you might not have noticed, but when Jesse confesses how gay he is, we actually had a gag involving his shirt. So every time it cuts back to him, his shirt is a v-neck originally, and it just keeps getting deeper and deeper as the takes go on. And that actually brings me to the deleted scenes I was gonna show you guys. Uh, the first scene that was put on the cutting room floor was actually when Jesse says, oh my God, take your pants off. I originally had planned that the dolly forward was gonna be matched to the dolly forward in the bedroom. Perfect bod and oh my God, take your pants off. And then the reason we cut it out was because how amazing that long take was on Jesse, the one that made the final video. While it was funny to cut into the room, it actually took away from a lot of the moment. Still thought it was a quality scene, but yeah, cut. Second scene we cut, this is probably the most ridiculous of all, when Jesse says, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm hella gay, we actually have, uh, I'll just show it. Yeah, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm hella gay. It's a funny idea, but uh... It was just too much, it was just too much. So those are the two most formulated scenes that we cut or little shots that we cut, but there's so many different options of stuff that we just had to make a choice on. Probably my favorite run of variations was the pink drill scene. So I hope you enjoyed the look, the deleted stuff of the music video. Jesse's actually written four different songs and one is selected as our follow-up. And the only thing I'm going to say about it is it's in the style of old boys to men and backstreet boys. So subscribe up here to keep updated. I have a Facebook page. I have a Twitter page. I have everything.